हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand elements of an embedded system. A typical embedded system is shown in this figure. Here, the embedded system consists of system core, input ports, output ports, memory, and other peripheral devices. Along with this, it is having communication interface. It consists of a system core, which can be a single chip controller. So, the system core. can be a single chip microcontroller if we say controller which means it can be a microcontroller or a microprocessor this system core will act as brain of the system so as i told you system core can be a microprocessor microcontroller programmable field gate array which is fpga or a digital signal processor which is dsp and also it can be application specific integrated circuit application specific standard product which is assp so this system core can be a microprocessor microcontroller field programmable gate array dsp application specific integrated circuit or it can be application specific standard product so here the input signals are provided by input port by the end user to the system core here the embedded system hardware and softwares are designed to regulate a physical variable or to manipulate the state of system device by sending some control signal to actuators which are connected at the output port so we can say the input signals are provided to the embedded system through input port then the system will process the signal and provide the control signal to the output port so at the input port which is user interface keyboards push button switches etc are the examples so we can say keyboard push button switches are the example for common user interface which are used as input devices at the output we can take leds lcds and buzzer as example for common user interface output devices so we can say leds lcds buzzer are example for common user interface as output devices we know embedded systems are designed for specific applications or a particular application like example as embedded system designed for any handheld applications such as mobile handset application so if we take mobile handset application as an example which means we can say keyboard is the user interface to perform input operation and display is the user interface for output operation most of the embedded system are automatic which means they do not require any manual intervention for their operation here example for automatic embedded system to sense the input parameter can be a sensor the sensor senses the input parameter this information is passed on to the processor upon receiving the sensor data the processor performs some predefined operations with the help of a firmware software that is available in the memory and sends some signal to the output port 
where actuators are connected to perform the desired operation. The memory of the system is responsible for holding the control algorithm or we can say that as system software or firmware and also it holds the important configuration details. This memory can be read only memory which is ROM which holds control algorithm as well as configuration details. So, this ROM will not be available for user modifications which means ROM is protected from unwanted user interactions by implementing some kind of memory protection mechanism. The most commonly used memory to store control algorithm are OTP, PROM, UVE PROM, EE PROM and flash. Sometimes this embedded system requires temporary memory and this temporary memory is known as working memory which is commonly known as random access memory which is RAM. So, working memory is nothing but random access memory which is RAM. The different types of RAM can be SRAM, DRAM and NVRAM. So, here you need to remember that control algorithm is stored in memory. So, control algorithm which is embedded system firmware that will be stored in memory of an embedded system. This is about elements of an embedded system. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.